Looking like a fresh pumpkin princess today. Got my crown, my bag lady orange dress on, I'm ready. Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new monthly favorites video where I sit here and chat about everything that I've been obsessed with this month. And oddly enough, there's like barely any makeup because I've been putting so much makeup on my face this month doing videos for you guys that I haven't really touched beauty products. Unless you count like alcohol paint palettes and like rubber mask grease paint and all that as makeup I've been loving, but not everybody wears that every day. I don't usually put that in my monthly favorites, but I'm rambling. Let me talk about my absolute favorite product that I discovered this month. I've been wearing it all month, and I recently found this on my birthday. I think I've had this from one of the Sephora Play things for a while, and I'm so sad that I'm about to run out because I'm sure this is expensive. This is the Becca Backlighting Primer Filter, and you put this on your face as a face primer. Sometimes I mix it with my regular primer because it's super glowy, but that's what I love because I have super dry skin and I need that glow, moisturized looking skin to throw some shimmer on my face to hide the fact that it has dry, patchy parts and some oily parts. I always sweat right here lately on my makeup and it's starting out and I feel weird. Anyways, another random makeup product I found at the end of this month, like just a couple days before filming this, but I love it that much. I really want to talk about it, you guys, because it's super affordable and I did not think the Body Shop randomly sent these to me. These are the matte liquid lipsticks. And they're not like regular liquid lipsticks. They wear more like an everyday chapstick, but they show up completely matte. You just have to let them dry for a couple seconds. And they're not like long day lasting. They do come off when you eat food, but it feels so comfortable. Some liquid matte lipsticks, like the one I'm wearing today, gets a little bit drying, but this one, Barely feels like you're wearing lipstick. So if you like something that's like more wears like a traditional lipstick that'll come off when you eat, but it wears like very moisturizing, but it's super matte. These are amazing and they have these neutral colors and I love this color because it's one of those mauve like neutral pinks that everybody could wear and this is in Create Carnation. This is one of my absolute favorite color. They also had a wine color but I forgot the name of it and I can't find it anywhere. It's probably in a pocket of a pants somewhere. But yes, they're only $10 and they're on for sale right now at the body shop for $10. Amazing. Another thing I have to talk about is Witch Baby Soap. I'm sure she's always in my monthly favorites because the owner of this is such a kind-hearted person. She sends me these for free. These is the Candy Apple Body Butter and it's Goosebump Monster Green and it smells like sweet candy apples. Oh, so good. It smells a little bit like the Jolly Rancher Green Apple, which is one of my favorite flavors of Jolly Ranchers, mixed with like buttercream cake, which is weird to talk about is a combination together but all oh, these feel so good I love mixing this with just like my unscented like Cetaphil lotions or just by itself on my elbows and they work so incredibly well and they smell so good if like you're into like massaging oh my gosh that with the massage it feels so good and smells so wonderful Another monthly favorite I have to talk about is this bougie expensive pillow I got on Amazon. This is the bamboo pillow. I was having severe neck pains for like four nights in a row when I first moved into my new place this month and I couldn't figure out why I think like in the jumble of moving all of my pillows got smashed and they just don't hold structure anymore. So I read reviews on Amazon and this was one of the best ones. And it's really expensive, $50 for a pillow cap, but it's huge. They even have one that's like 60 bucks. It's a huge body pillows. I'm thinking about it, it's an investment. But it really, really helps my neck. And I would spend quite a bit of money if it helps my health. And I cannot rave about this anymore. It has like this waffle texture. It's called the bamboo pillow. And the waffle texture makes it so it doesn't stay as hot and warm when you're sleeping on it. And it like forms to your neck and head specifically. So each night I flip it over and I have like a new fresh side of the pillow to sleep on. And I sleep so much better with this and it helps so much with my neck pain. It's a miracle. Another monthly favorite is this backpack by Univ. My friend Sydney works for Univ and I got this from their store and I have like this little bat keychain that holds hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. This was last year's Halloween thing and I put a 
big eye on it. And of course, I have to represent the Swamp family. Everybody asked me about this backpack because it reminds them of Naruto or Zelda, I've heard. Because the logo, I don't know why this reminds people of certain anime shows. And it has this flap on top that you unbutton with a pocket here that's buttoned. And then it has the zipper like this. It's a little bit more complicated get to get to than regular backpacks, but I feel just that much more secure so people won't like, I'll definitely feel if someone like tries to grab my stuff out of this. And it holds so many things. I think I could put my laptop in here and it has like a pocket in here. And I absolutely love this. I've been carrying this around instead of a purse because it's so much more comfortable and this lays a lot more flat on the back than most regular backpacks. And it has a hidden pocket right here. Oh, I got a magnet for my dishwasher in here that I forgot to put. Another monthly favorite of mine is my armpits, not the actual armpit itself, but the place I go to to where I get hair removal treatments done. I know that's such a weird topic to talk about, but I'm obsessed with Laser Away. They invited me to their place to get hair removal type situation done. I know it's an awkward topic to talk about, but everybody has hair on their body and sometimes they want it there and sometimes they don't. It's a personal choice. You could do whatever you want with your body. But Laser Way was so nice enough to invite me to their place to get hair removal. They are so kind, so quick and painless. It's like literally 10 to 15 minutes and I don't have to wait around. And they are done by like, I think the Kardashians went there before to get it done. And I was so lucky enough to get to go and get hair removal treatments on my arms because I moved to like a smaller beach town so everybody here is wearing tank tops and dresses and it's such a much more relieving thing to know that your armpits are clear and just it's a lot less hassle in shaving. Honestly it's like one of my the best things I've done in life because it's such like less management and you could do whatever you want to your body. I'm not here to preach that you need to like remove all the hair from your body and you could do whatever you want to do hair or not but I would highly highly suggest going and looking into Laser Away because they have stores all across the US and it's worth the investment and again so quick and painless and I love it. Another thing I've been obsessed with this much is HGTV. I'm starting to sound like a sponsor commercial, but I promise you none of these people are sponsoring this video or paying me to say these things. But HGTV, I recently got cable for the very first time. I never had cable. Whoop whoop, living it up. I feel such like a ratchet girl who's like never had air conditioning or cable. But I finally got cable and air conditioning. One that works in my living room. So excited. I get to watch HGTV. My favorite show on there. It's called Fixer Upper with a couple named Chip and Joe in Texas and they take rundown homes and they fix it up for people and make it personalized to them. I'm absolutely obsessed with this show and another show I'm obsessed with that's also on cable is Catfish on MTV. Oh my gosh, I fangirl so hard because I talked about how much I was obsessed with the show even on Twitter and Catfish replied to me from their Twitter account and said that I should do a video about Catfish so now I want to do a video about Catfish but I need to like figure out a makeup idea for the show Catfish. Leave a comment below on what I should do for that show. If you haven't seen the show, basically, it's for an older audience. I wouldn't suggest kids to watch it, but it's when someone tricks you and you think you're talking to one person, like dating online, and then you actually meet them in person, they're a totally different person. There was a movie about it by Neve and Max. I love them both. They're both on the show. And they go in, they have people who have met online who haven't met in person, and they actually get them to meet in person to see if they're real or not. And it's just so surprising, and you're guessing who's gonna be behind that door when they open the door and meet the person they've been talking to for like months or even years. Like one person was talking to someone for over 10 years, eight years. My favorite episode, if you're a big fan of Catfish like I am, was with Lauren and Derek, I think it was. Oh, so cute, it was like a fairy tale, but then there's really crazy ones. Like sometimes they're talking to someone a lot older or different, totally different. So good, I can't like rave about that show enough. I could talk a whole video about that show. I think I love Catfish too because I also met my boyfriend who you've seen on my YouTube channel, hopefully. His name's Corey, online. And I was so scared I was gonna get catfish and he was so scared as well but when we finally met in person after talking online for six months it came out perfectly great and sometimes it doesn't come out like that and that's why I also love watching this show because I feel a little bit personal connection to it but mine came out good which is cool thank goodness I have to talk about my favorite youtubers this month and 
Healthy Junk Food is this YouTube channel I found and I'm obsessed and it's not healthy at all type of junk food. They do list the calories in the foods they make, but basically they try to remake the in and out menu. They make crazy insane things like mozzarella stick stuffed crust pizza, which sounds delicious. And it's this couple, I think they're a couple, and the boys, the guy who does the voiceovers, who's part of the show of this YouTube channel, his commentary is so hilarious and spot on and just, it's amazing. Another YouTube channel I have to talk about is called Primitive Technology. My brother showed it to me. It's super kind of nerdy, like National Geographic and interesting. It's this guy and his job is to go out to the jungle in the middle of nowhere and make huts out of like things he finds like grass, leaves, and mud. A whole entire house with like a heated bed and everything out of mud that he finds in the forest. Like what? And it's so interesting. You should go definitely check out these channels. I'll put the links to those down below and everything I talk about in this video. I'm so excited to talk about these. One more thing that I have to talk about this month that's my favorite. Before we go, it's this Tumblr page. I have it here so I won't forget the name because it's called Bloody dash dash cherry dot tumblr dot com it's super creepy and spooky i don't know if it's just because of halloween or if this is year round type tumblr thing but it's like creepy eyeballs which i love and haunted mansions and all types of things like that that just speak to my soul i'm obsessed with tumblr i'm one of those girls who where i just like re-blog tree houses haunted houses just victorian type era dresses and mermaids and stuff like that and that's what speaks to my soul i love tumblr because it's like making your own magazine page for yourself that other people can see. So those are my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today and watching this video. I feel like I haven't sat here and talked to you for a while because I've been doing so many makeup videos this month for Halloween and there's going to be a lot more videos to come even past Halloween. I hope you guys know this. Leave me a comment down below on what I should do for the catfish makeup. I don't know if the TV show like watching it or like it, but they tweeted me and I was dying inside like so screaming like a fangirl. I love it. Thank you guys so much again for hanging out with me and I love y'all. See you soon. Bye. Hey everyone. Today's video is going to be me being annoying. <laughs> I had way too much uh, pumpkin coffee. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> what was that? I need a new intro. Not like, hi, hi, hey, hi. Hey, talk to me. Be my friend, what? Not much makeup today. Just random stuff because I've been working my butt off all month. Makeup's so fun. What you see here, it's not fake. I just don't have a lot of many friends. I just work for you guys all the time. Now that I smell like Crayola all month trying to do them drugstore looks for you guys and makeup, I almost got catfished.